Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your PS3 controller to your Linux machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator. The actual connection part, it's universal, once you've done that you can pretty much use it on anything, you know, as long as you map the controller connect, you know, correctly. So let me show you the controller right here. So you should be seeing it right now, I've got a moddy controller, it's not turned on and it is a PS3 DualShock controller. It will work with just a regular old school 6 axis if you know some of you guys remember it from back in the day. This is pretty much just a mirror because if you look at it, the 6 axis I remember, I think it was an advert where they had this 6 and then the XIS sort of, like, sort of rotate around the A to sort of demonstrate the motion but okay and yeah so what you'll need is a controller and you'll need a mini usb cable which is used for charging and connection so we'll show you oh well i'll show you how to do the wired version and the wireless version but you need a wire even if you want to do the wireless version and you obviously need bluetooth as well so let me open up bluetooth if you are on some other linux distro then you know open up bluetooth however you know is the correct method one second i'm just going to reposition the mic okay so that should be a little better now okie dokie so what you want to do is connect this up like so ignore what's just come on screen for a second to do the wired option press the playstation button it's hooked it up to one it vibrated you may not be out here because the vibration was pretty faint but that's connected now that's it you can use this as a wired controller if you want to use it as a wireless controller you make sure you click allow this will be in here you disconnect this it will start flashing you click the playstation button it's now connected and as you can see it's connected as well so that's how you do the wireless and the wired option but you do need a wire even if you just want the wireless version so now what we need to do is go to config gamepad port one pad one and i'm just going to go back to default so you can actually see me mapping it because i already mapped it to be fair so triangle circle x square yeah square and now r1 R2, it's just slightly changing because obviously this is, you know, analog mode, he has several sensors, but that, that's fine for what we need for PlayStation. And you can go to DualShock mode as well, but digital is fine. And now let's do the left side, L2, L1, I just shook the camera there. Hopefully that's still okay. Yeah, you should still be able to see everything. Now let me do the arrows. That's left, down, and right. I'm not going to map the analog stick because the original PlayStation didn't have it, the original PlayStation controllers, but you can do if you want to. Select and start. That's it. We're all good to go. So that little process that I just did there of mapping the controls, that would be the same process if I had it connected via a wire, but I don't. So it's, it's, it's the same process. Obviously, you wouldn't go for the you know the connection option, and go to open ISO, run ISO, download Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot dot bin, open that up. <laughs> just turn the volume down, and I did just what? Well, what did I just do? Press that for a shortcut so you can attempt me to the menu really quickly. As you can see, it is now working, and I'll just play the first level as I usually do in this series of connecting, you know, different controllers to you know, different OSs for different emulators. So far, I'm just covering the PlayStation emulators on all the OSs I've done. Uh, the Mac, I've done Windows. I'm going for the Linux, uh, con you know, controllers connecting on Linux now. And then once I've done them probably move on to the ps2 emulator on linux and on windows then on the rps3 rpcs3 emulator and then you know eventually create some more tutorials on different emulators as well as you can see it is fully working if this is literally all you came to see was in terms of the connection then you're all good to go or go to the top the really matter either way it's a little slower um, actually, ooh, nope. 
didn't get him in the center. I want to get him though. Nope, that was terrible. I messed up on that bouncy box. Oh yeah, life not that all needy on this level. I'm actually really enjoying playing, you know, <laughs> I've been playing this level so much. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the free Aqua Aqua Mask. I'm pretty much invincible apart from falling. Everything else I'm invincible from. Any boxes that I haven't got yet, I will get afterwards. The most important part is to do this part here. And that's it. Okay, so let's go back around. There'll be two boxes here that I inevitably have not got because I didn't take this route. Just trying to make sure the controller's in view as well. And then there'll be a turtle here. He's hit me, but that's not the end of the world. I've got to get the boxes that I missed here. Okay, I'm always surprised there's only two, or you know, not many. Um, yeah, so we're all good to go. So that should be it, apart from the one box literally at the end of the level. This should be all finished. That's all finished. I would like to check just in case maybe there's a box at the start or at the end. If it's like in the middle, forget that. That's pretty much a goner then. Without the slide. You know, feature or the rocket launcher, the the Wumba, the Wumpa fruit launcher. It's pretty much a no go. So there we go. I'm gonna turn the volume up because I'm gonna go da da da. So I unlock the gem. So there we go. That is how you connect up your PS3 controller whether it's a DualShock 3 or a 6-axis to your Linux machine so you can use the EPSXE emulator to play PlayStation 1 games. You can do it via wire or I mean what I should say you can do it wired or wireless because even if you go down the wireless route which is the best route in my opinion and you know it's the most convenient route once you've hooked it up you still need a wire to just get the general sync because that's how the PS3 controllers work but that's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.